The next question from Arbaz Khan, Pakistan. Sir, can you please tell me from the Bible the verses from which I can prove that Jesus, peace be upon him, is not God? Regarding can I prove from the Bible that Jesus is not God? Peace be upon him. If you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. There is not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. In fact, if you read the Bible, the Bible clearly mentions, it's mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that my father is greater than all. If you read, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, that I cast out devil with the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God is a Muslim. Muslim by definition means the person who submits the will to God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. In fact, it is mentioned clearly. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Until the heaven and the earth pass away, one jot or tittle shall not pass away until all be fulfilled. Anyone who breaks one of the least of the commandments and teaches men to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And anyone who teaches them and believes in this will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, into, if you want to go to Jannah, if you want to go to paradise, you have to follow all the laws and commandments of the Old Testament that you should not make an image of God, you should not do idol worship, you should worship God Almighty alone, everything. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. He never said he was God. In fact, he said he was sent by God. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that the words that you hear are not mine, but my Father who has sent me. It's further mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 to 17, that when one of the scribes comes and asks to prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, that, good master, what good things should I do so that I achieve eternal life? So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies, why thou callest me good? There is no good, but only one, that is Almighty God. And if you want to enter eternal life, you keep the commandments. He never said that if you want to go to paradise, you believe I am God. He never said that believe that I died on the cross for your sins. He said, if you want to enter paradise, you keep the commandment. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 3, This is life eternal, so that you may know there is only one God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. It's mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, E men of Israel, Listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. And when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was asked that which is the first of the commandment? He replied in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29, what was earlier said by Moses, peace be upon him. And he said, Shama Israelu, Adnai Lahain Adnai Khad, that Hero Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. So, unequivocally, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said 
that he was not almighty God and you have to worship only one God and he was sent by God. So there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, said that I am God or where he worship. 